This is Chris Ziegler with The Verge, and I am in the passenger seat of this car. I'm not driving. Why not? Because it's Audi's self-driving car. You'll notice that there's nobody in the driver's seat. We're about to go on a wild ride through the parking garage of the Mandarin Oriental. We've got some sensors set up around here. These are laser scanners that help the car figure out where to go, and then it goes on a short path, maybe 100, 150 feet out to the front. We get out then the car turns around. That part has to be done by hand with a real driver. And then we drive back in and the car backs into the spot. It's a little scary. This is our robot overlord future in action. It's happening right here in Las Vegas. I'm a little terrified. Let's see how this goes. So it's slow. This is not like a Google car. This is not like the car that Lexus introduced yesterday. This is going five miles an hour through a preset course. Audi plans on getting there. They want to get to a full like highway experience. In fact, they're only the second automaker to have permission in the state of Nevada to drive on highways with self-driving cars. But this is not that. This is just to help you park the car without having to be in it. Imagine you're at a mall, you're at a, some sort of shopping center, pull out your smartphone, hit a button, the car comes and picks you up. That's what this is. So it was pretty awesome, not gonna lie. For the time being, I'm okay driving the car myself. Parking really isn't that big of a deal. But, uh, you know, if I have to pay another 100, 200 bucks to, to get this feature on my next car, I might do it. Audi's thinking 10 years out for this. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Audi, let's go back to the convention center. <laughs> <laughs> 